Hello everyone. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you the entire process of application lifecycle management. First, log into Kubesphere as admin. Click platform. Select access control. Go to account roles. You have to create the role for the account reviewer first. Click create. Name it app review. You can also give it an alias and input some description here. Click Edit Authorization. Go to Apps Management. Select those two items. Then click OK to finish. Go to Accounts. Click Create. You can create the two accounts here. Reviewer. Grant this account the role we just created. Set the password. And then click OK. Now let's create the second account, RSV. Grant this account the role of a platform regular. Click OK. Now you have your accounts ready. Before you can use those two accounts, you need to do one more thing, that is invite those two accounts to the workspace. So you have to log back in Kubesphere as Workspace Admin. Go to Workspace Members. Click Invite Members. Invite those two accounts to this workspace and grant them the role of Workspace Admin. Click OK to finish. Log out and log back in as ISV. Go to App Templates. Here you can click the Upload Template button to upload your chart file. Click Upload Helm Chart Package here. And you can upload your Helm package here. Click OK. Here you can click Upload icon here if you want to customize it as your own app with your own icon. Here I just click OK. Now you can see the status of this application is shown as draft. Click it to go to its detailed page. You can still click the Edit Info button here to edit info. And you can click the More button to expand the drop-down menu. Here you can click to expand expand this menu and you can click submit review for the reviewer to review this application or you can also click test deploy to make a round of testing before you submit for review here in this tutorial I'll just click submit review click next I'll use the default version number here. Click OK. Now log out and log back in as a reviewer. Click Platform. Go to App Store Management. Go to App Review. You can see this application here is pending review. Click to view its default information. 
and you can switch those tabs to review the information. You can either reject or pass. Here I'll click pass. Now let's log out and log back in as ISV. Go to app templates. Click it. You can see the status here is shown as passed. Click to expand the menu. Now you can click release to store to release this application to the app store. Click and then click OK. So now if you log out and I log back in as a reviewer, you can go to platform, app store management. In app categories, you can create a new category for the application we just released to the app store. Here in this tutorial, I'll just create a category named database. Click OK. And then select uncategorized. Select the new application you just submitted and released. Click change category and to put it under this category. Click OK. Now you can see that this application is categorized under this categorization. Log out. Now if you log in as project regular, you can actually deploy this application in your project. Go to projects. Go to your project, go to applications, click deploy new application, select from app store, click this application we just released, click deploy, use the default settings, click next, and then click deploy. Now you can log out and log back in as ISV. Go to app templates. Click this application. Here you can click the new version button to upload a new version to, the, to this application. The following process is the same. You just need to select the right version here. Click OK. And then click to expand the menu. Then click Submit Review. Next, OK. Now log out and log back in as a reviewer. Go to platform, select app store management, click app review, click it, and then click pass. The process is the same as we did in the previous version. So we can log back in as ISV. Go to app templates, click this application, and click to expand the menu for the new version. And then we can release this new version to the app store by clicking the release to store button. Click OK. Now log back in as project regular. Go to your project, 
in the applications page, you can see the application is now active. Click it to go to its detail page. Switch to the app template tab. Select version info. You can see that your current version is 11.3.4 and there's a new version 12.0.0. If you hover your cursor on this version, you can click the upgrade button to upgrade your app version. You can see the status of this app is shown as upgrading. And after a while, or you can click the refresh icon here to refresh the status. You can see the status is shown as active again. Now log out and log back in as reviewer. If you want to suspend this application, you can click Platform, go to App Store Management, click this application, and click the Suspend App button to suspend this application. You can also click the Activate App button again to activate it. Now, if you want to suspend a specific version of this application, you can click to expand the menu for this version and click Suspend Version button to suspend it. Same thing here. If you want to activate this version again, you just click to expand the menu and click the activate version button again so that you can activate it. So that's all for the entire process of application lifecycle management. Hope you had a better understanding of this whole process. Thank you for watching.